how difficult has it been to try and compose in your mind an eleven that deserves to start this game on Wednesday night? I think it's, at the end of the day, football's football. You have to focus on what's in front of you. Um, you can't dwell, you, you can't afford to dwell. Yes, you go over things and try and clarify things with players and, and all those type of things, but um, you also got to be very mindful that another game's coming. That's what football's about and you have to be focused and fully ready for that. So that's what we've been doing um, since that game. There were talks a couple of weeks ago trying to get things moving. Have you had similar chats with the players after this weekend? Yeah, constantly. We'd always try and go through things with the players, what they're doing well, what they're not doing so well, and, and try and rectify those things and, and get them back on an even keel. Like I said, it feels a bit of a... You know, last week was a couple of steps forward with the Birmingham and Charlton game and then a, step, a big step backwards, um, obviously, with the Derby game. But um, my job is to try and keep a balanced, a balanced mind, you know, and... You can feel us frustrated and upset or whatever that is in those moments as anyone else. But then you also, my responsibility is to keep a level head and, and on to the next. And that's what we have to do with this game. Just in terms of selection, a few injuries to, to go through. Stephen Fletcher, first of all, what's the state of play with him? I think, as I said before with Stephen, you know, we've kind of a normal process with someone that's been out for a period of time. Um, a normal process would be to have a few weeks block of training and possibly some minutes with the 23s before he was back in. But... Obviously, with the presence and the and the um, influence you know, Fletch has on the team, you know, probably needs must and and put him back into the team. And, um, and he did 45 on Saturday. Just felt very tired, and um, and that's quite understandable. So it was more just taking him off at that moment, more precautionary, and knowing that he was tired. And you know, we haven't been able to get too much training into him. But um, as I said before, as many minutes on the pitch as he can get um, is going to do him the world of good. So is it not worth playing in tomorrow with Brentford in mind at the weekend? Or do you no, we'll see. Still um, in? We'll see with that. Um, but he'll definitely be involved, whether that's starting or, or coming from the bench. But um, yeah, we'll decide that. Um, Reach, Luongo, Odebajo, what's this, how are they getting on? So um, Massimo and Mo trained for the first time today. Um, and Adam's still a, possibly, hopefully, next week or the end of next week with that. And the rest of it is as it was before the game on Saturday. And there were a few that have been involved in the first team squad that weren't involved with the under-23s at Wigan last night, the likes of Burakov, Urugidi, of course, and um, and Hunt as well. Would it be fair to say they could be in the frame? Yeah, everyone's, in, everyone's within that. Um, obviously, those guys you spoke about train with us a lot and regularly train with us and, um, and yeah, up for selection. How do you go about preparing for a game like this against the Manchester City side then that will probably rotate, but you don't know how much or where? So how on earth do you, do you go about preparing? No, look, it's a unique opportunity for us. We're going to play against the, the reigning champions of England. Um, we all know what that brings, the challenge that brings, and the quality of that, what they bring. Um, I don't think it matters personnel-wise with them. They have quality throughout the whole squad. You know, These are world-class players, you know, one, one of the best teams in, in Europe as we stand right now, um, with one of the best managers over the last 10, 15 years um, on the planet. So. Um, we all know what that poses, um, but what we're trying to do is work and put ourselves in the best position to give ourselves a really good account of ourselves. We know how difficult it's going to be, um, how big the odds are against us achieving an outcome that we want, um, but it's the challenge that you should want, you know, and the challenge that we've been working on since the Derby game to, to give ourselves the best opportunity to produce a performance, a result, and um, yeah, something that we can be proud of and our fans can be proud of. How do you give yourself a chance? Can you see chinks in the armour that can be... Got at. Very few, but um, <laughs> but no, it's, I think that's how you have to work. You have to believe that. You have to. We're going to have to be very, very good from a defensive point of view. Of course, we are. You know, I think that's obvious. And then, of course, there's certain ways that we feel that we can attack and maybe could cause them a problem um, that we've been working on. So that's the same as every game. But of course, we're playing a much bigger opponent, much more quality, much more danger. Um, and what we have to do is get all of it right and at a very high level and um, and that's what we've been preparing for. If we can deliver it at a high level, like anything in football, you can cause problems and um, you can cause trouble yourself. But we're going to have to be very focused on, on delivering that performance. We're not going to be able to make mistakes. That's the key against this type of team that we're going to play against. Given that Manchester City are likely to have most of the ball, and much more than probably any championship side that you've faced this season, how key is it the work off the ball then that, to make sure that concentration levels that perhaps weren't there on Saturday are there Wednesday night? Yeah, uh, 
we won't be afforded to make mistakes. Um, we're not being afforded in the moment that we've, this period that we've been in, where we've made against, without any disrespect, less quality squads. Of course, you know that's obvious. But and we've been punished by those mistakes, so we're, we're not going to be able to make a mistake. But we're not going into it worrying about mistakes. We're going to go into it about trying to work in a certain way that we can help ourselves defensively and in a certain way where we feel that we can help ourselves offensively as well. So it's not about going in fear and we're going to make mistakes. You know, Teams like Manchester City and the players that they have force mistakes regardless. They force every single team they play against to make mistakes. But if we can do it in the right way, in the right manner and not self-inflict those mistakes, you know, I've always said it, if, if an opposition forces those mistakes and um, put you in a position with quality, then you can live with that. But what you can't do is self-inflict and make mistakes that are needless and put yourself in a position where, it's, where you don't need to. So um, but we're not going into it thinking like that. You'd be stupid to go into things like that. What we need to do is understand that there will be situations we're going to have to face and work in a certain way to help us in that and then try and give ourselves the right account of ourselves when we have the ball. How, how welcome is the, the difference from that the grind of the league at the minute? Um, it's definitely not a free hit. I know, yeah, let's be obvious, is we're not expected to win. Um, it'd be very difficult for us to win the game, but um, I think it's great. We've earned the right to be facing Manchester City. Um, we've done very, very well in the, in the pre two previous games, really good performances, and, and it's an opportunity to face one of the best, you know, and you know, it's a unique situation. It's great, and that's the challenge. And if we can use that and harness a good performance and something where we do ourselves justice, um, yeah, hopefully that can give even more of a boost to everyone and our fans and our players and, and everyone connected and, and take that into the rest of the season. So that's what we're hoping for from the game. But the number one is, is this game ahead of us, you know. Fantastic challenge. It's great to be involved in it. And, and I think as the players, I'm, I'm sure they go out there and, and we'll be giving our all for them, for sure.